Welcome back to this After the Review. This is your After Review number six. Thank you for stopping by. So as I finish sipping on this Turbo Dog, is it relieving my stress? No, because that's not how I relieve my stress. But it is delicious. We're going to look at, for this After the Review, some top um, stories, or at least one story. Uh, USA Today, four hours ago, reports that a man's finger was bitten off when he got into an altercation at a golf course. Let me tell you what sticks out to me about this, okay? If I am going to be paying money to go onto a golf course, the course fees, I'm going to try to have a relaxing day and not bite somebody's finger off or be having my finger bitten off. Most golf courses a day range anywhere from 30 to a few hundred dollars for to actually play a round of golf. Uh, rarely do you find one that you can find below 30. So why would you waste your time, money, and energy and get into an altercation like this and then do this? Plus, if you have friends that are willing to bite somebody else's fingers off, you may need to find better friends. Cannibalism is not the way, people. <laughs> In other news, on this uh, after the review, we'll also be uh, tasting one of my Arnold Palmer kombuchas. I was able to filter out some of the big strains of the yeast and uh, bacteria that ferment the actual tea to make it look more appealing for those people that may drink it in the future. <laughs> Finger biting off. <laughs> Sorry. But besides that, what else is there in new? Um, we constantly are bombarded by left and right people and those people that claim to be libertarians, those pe pe people to be pl uh, claiming to be constitutionalists, um, all these other titles that people have. And I'm just wondering when we're going to actually come together and actually become a good community together. But we'll always have you know issues and we'll always have people that say that their freedoms are being infringed upon so I don't think that will happen. Um, you don't want to sit here and hear about my views on this world today but whenever someone doesn't have the fundamental right to protect themselves because others are upset that's wrong. Whenever one person is being discriminated against because others don't believe in their choices, that's wrong. No matter if I believe in that person's choices or not, they have the freedom to make on them because honestly, they're not hurting me. I'm responsible for raising my kids and my, uh, driving my family forward. And if I allow people to change my family's ideas and mentalities without allowing my kids to make their own decisions when they get of age, because kids are right now, no matter what you say, no matter what anybody thinks, should not be able to make decisions until they are taught how to, okay? Present your kids with the facts. Present your kids with the beliefs that you have and set a good example for them. A lot of people may disagree with me that I set a good example for my kids, but I try to my best to do that. So, I will respect you and you will respect me. You step over my boundary of my family and try to impress ideas into my kids' heads before they have a chance. That's a problem. So that's where we kick in and say, hey, you're not allowed to do that. So, But you will constantly have people, whether it's in the public education system, whether it's when they go to school for the school degree that they have, you'll have people trying to influence your family, your kids, and the people that you love for the worse and for the better. They have to make the decision. So you can't always control what happens, but you can always direct your kids the rest of the way. But um, other news, um, let us go pause this for a second. So for this kombucha here, this was the first attempt at making an Arnold Palmer by switching my tea out. I was using a black tea that was a little bit lighter than the normal black tea that I'm used to, and it wasn't providing a decent flavor. It was okay, but it's not like something that's appeasing for all to drink. I let this sit for two and a half days, and the whole goal for this is to have a good carbonation in there after the bacteria had a chance to ferment the sugars that I added at the end. This will have a very low alcohol concentration, so you don't have to worry about any type of buzz. So let's see. Ooh, there we go. Some of that stuff was cold there, and we did have a little bit fermentation going on pop 
You can see this right here. So some of that culture did make it over there. You could see it right there. It kind of looks gross. Ooh. It's gonna be heavily lemony because, or lemon flavor, because simply I added some a concentrated lemon, plus I added a little bit of that pure lemon, and I added some sugar to this to make sure that it did ferment a little bit. Yeah, that's where it's at right there. It's ready. So uh, there's facts out there. You may want to be careful about drinking kombucha because if you have a, a uh, what we call it, compromised immune system, you never know that if you're introducing a bacteria and yeast into your body, if that's the best for you. So I would actually talk to a doctor before you decide to. It's safe, but don't take my word for it because I'm not going to be liable if you do. That's where it's at. That's what I was trying to do the last few batches and just couldn't get it to work. So, oh, I didn't believe that that much culture still made it through. But you can see it. Looks kind of gross. So that's this little bit of after the review. Uh, thank you for stopping by. And as always, God bless you all. Love you. We're going to have a subscribe button up here. We're going to have the most recent video by YouTube up here. Down here, we're going to do after the review. That's where the episodes will go. And down here will be our most recent beer review upload. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Good night.